A breast implant is a silicone shell filled with either silicone gel or a saltwater solution known as saline. Implant reconstruction surgery is not generally the best option for patients requiring radiation due to the risk of complications. The recovery time from the initial expander and permanent implant placement surgery is usually quicker than flap surgery and it may be easier to control the size of the reconstructed breast with implant reconstruction. The final result yields fewer scars on the patient's body because the only location of surgery is on the breast. For patients without excessive fat tissue, implants are a good choice and yield good final results. There are disadvantages to implant reconstruction surgery as well. With most implant procedures, patients require the placement of a tissue expander first, followed by the replacement of the expander with an implant. This type of reconstruction almost always requires at least two surgical stages and multiple visits to the plastic surgeon's office between stages for tissue expansion. It is important to realize that for patients who are having a unilateral or one-sided mastectomy, matching the other natural breast with an implant can be difficult. The shape and feel of an implant is not exactly like that of a natural breast. Implants can become infected or malpositioned and may require surgery to correct these problems. Implants can develop capsular contracture, which is the tightening of the soft tissue around the implant. In addition, it may rupture or require future surgeries for removal or replacement. As with any reconstructive breast surgery, patients having implant surgery at Johns Hopkins have the advantage of a highly trained breast reconstruction surgeon performing the procedure who will work with you to receive the best final results possible and return to normal activities as soon as possible.